Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where he is supporting kids in our community in Seven Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. Today I'm so excited to be talking to Steven Nelson again in person by another piano. Today we have a mashup, a song mashup for him again, but this time it's a very more harder. Thank you for talking with me today, Steven. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me again. Let's get started with the questions. Okay. Question number one. What's your favorite Christmas song to play on the piano? Um, that's a really hard question. I, I actually... I don't think I have one favorite. Sometimes I feel like lots of different flavors of Christmas. So sometimes I feel like playing jazz, or sometimes I feel like playing... Um, more like hauntingly beautiful kind of flavors, or sometimes a big loud ones, or uh, very mild ones like Silent Night. So it depends on what I feel like. Question number two: How do you like visiting Idaho? I love Idaho. Every time I come here, I have a blast. But I will say that every time I come here, something goes wrong with my car, and so I hope that doesn't happen this time. Yeah. But actually, last time when I was here, um, we broke down. I got a flat tire, and it was next to Rigby. Have you been to Rigby? Yeah. So we were, we were at Rigby, and it was on a Sunday, and so everything was closed, and so we walked over to a gas station, and we, we were trying to figure out how we were going to fix our car because we didn't have the right tool for it. And so when we, we got to the gas station, someone saw us, and then we talked to them, and they said they owned the place in town where they could get us all the tools. So they drove us there, they gave us the tools for free, and they helped us fix the car, and I thought, I think that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three. If you weren't in the music industry, what would you be doing for your career? I was just talking about this with my friend just the other minute. Um, I would be probably a therapist or uh, like a therapist psychologist because I love listening to people and seeing how they think and then um, talking about why they think what they think. Question number four. What is the hardest song you have ever played on the piano? Um, do you remember last time when we did our interview, you asked me what my favorite song to play at that time was. And I, w I told you that there's a song called Gargoyles, and then I made that ma mash up with a song that I wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, in that same classical piano piece, there's another movement uh, that is called, I think it's called Presto or something, but it's a really fast one, and it is very, very hard. I, I've actually never been able to fully play it perfectly yet. So sometimes I, I pull that out and I practice it just so I can See if I can do a little better. Yeah. What is a lesson that you've learned writing music? Um, <clears throat> this wasn't always obvious to me, but when uh, the more I, the more albums I do and the more songs that I write, uh, the more I realized that music has a very powerful effect on people when they listen to it. Um, so sometimes when you hear some songs, they they feel really. Uh, they feel really good and they make you feel happy or they make you feel um, uh, like, you, like you heal when you listen to them. And then other songs, they kind of make you feel gross and icky on the inside. And I realized that I have the power to write either one of those. And so I always try to make sure that I write the kind of music that when people listen to it, they feel the way that I would want to feel when I listen to music. Yeah. Who are some of your favorite musicians? Musicians. I can't say <laughs> musicians. <laughs> Um, yeah, honestly, I, my favorite musicians, this is kind of a vague answer, but my favorite musicians are the ones that I can tell are always trying to get better and better and better. So last time we talked about how, uh, who my favorite composers were, and they're my favorite composers because when, when you hear one of their film scores, uh, and then you hear another one, you can hardly tell that that's the same person who did it because they're, they're always getting better and better, so their music shifts as they go. And, and there's another good example. There's a, there's a woman, her name is Nicole Pinnell, who uh, uh, on Matt and Savannah's albums, uh, she does all of the, the solo cello work on it. And she, most people when they, when they do their schooling, they go through you know, teenage years, then maybe in their early 20s, and then they're done with schooling. But she never has stopped because she always wants to get better. And I, I really respect that. Okay, I have another song mashup for you. Okay. This time it's very harder. Okay. It's very hard, but I think you can still do it. Okay. Soon. What is um, it? The song mashup of We Will Rock You in Silent Night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you give me a second to work it out in my head again? Yeah. Okay, because this is going to need maybe a little bit longer than yeah. the last one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I might have it. Okay, it's okay if you make a mistake. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay, should we do it? Yeah. Okay. That's even better. I'll... Or if you did, I wouldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Okay, that that'll be our little secret if I did then. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't notice. Okay, good. Well, thank you. Thank you for playing that and song. That was probably one of the craziest uh, mashups anyone's ever asked me to do. <laughs> yeah, I told Those are you it really would be different crazy. songs. <laughs> thank well, you so much for talking with me today, Steven. You're welcome, and thanks for having me. And it's cool because it's t again in person. I know. We'll have to do it again. Yeah, and especially because I got to interview Matt and Savannah, too, before we came here, I got to interview them in yeah. person. Did that go well? Yeah, that Good. was fun. Was that fun? Yeah, I told them that I had the hard mashup. They've known the whole time that <laughs> the songs were. And they didn't even warn me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's good. It's a good surprise then. Yeah. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, Pratty is supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.